I'm camping at the Ontonagon Town Park and Campground, and this is a Lake Superior Waterfront Campground gem. Okay, the first evening was a tad bit chilly, but we did keep warm with a good fire. The next morning, while enjoying the Lake Superior shoreline, I ran across a young man named Caden and his dad, and he told me about interesting rocks he finds along the shoreline. He lives close by, so he was kind enough to go get his collection and show me some of his rocks. This is a new one. Oh my gosh, look at how they light up. Oh, yeah. Wow. And that's called a Uper rock? Uperlite. Oh, Uperlite. Yep. Nice. There are so many light rocks that come from Canada on the glaciers. I'm here with Caden, and Caden looks for sea glass and Uperlites. Oh, there's like a line going through it on this side. Oh, that's okay. gorgeous. And then, so this is a dark blue one that we have for necklace. And then this is also one of the teal ones that you said you liked. It's a greenish, greenish teal with some words yeah. on the back. Oh, that's gorgeous. The green one. So if you shine up to the, the sun, you can see it. What do you mean? If you so if you look at it, so you can't see it right now. It just looks like an ordinary rock. Right. And if you look at the sun. With the rock, if you look at the sun, it, it's green. So the sun with that. Oh, I can see it. It is green. Wow, I think I love this one. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, it looks black, but then mm -hmm. you hold it up and it's green. So what do you think some of these glass pieces came from? Do you think, like, for instance, what would you speculate maybe this is or was? Medicine bottles. And which ones, I know you said some you thought might be old Coke bottles. Which ones do you think those are? Like this one right here. See, so has got numbers on the bottom. And old Coke bottles and... Oh, they've got numbers on the bottom. So that means maybe an old Coke bottle. Oh, that's so much fun. Oh, this is an old plate. Yeah, let's see the base of it right there. wonder what year or when the ship sunk or how that got into the lake. I can't decide. All of this is so beautiful. This is such a beautiful sea glass. Oh, this is sea glass? Yep. It's really rare. Blue. It's really hard to find blue. Yep. Oh, no. You guys just melted my heart because my favorite color is blue and pink, but I always go hunting for rocks that are heart-shaped. Guys, that's heart-shaped. This is my necklace. Oh, I love this. Well, I definitely want, I want this one. I gotta take another one, guys. Oh my gosh, you see that? Oh, wow. Yeah, so he, he draws them and makes necklaces out of them. Oh, I need one of those. That's really fun. I mean, that's a really, really, really explosive one. All right, I tell you what. Can I have this one in a necklace? I'm going to take these two. The necklaces? Yes, please. Okay. So, so I want three. Go drill this. Thank you so much. And then they'll be on one of these. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, so originally was going to buy just one rock necklace, but there were so many cool ones, I couldn't decide on just one. As you can see, this was a really hard decision, so I bought three. And these are the three necklaces that I picked. Okay, if you're a subscriber to my channel or you've watched some of my videos, you know that this blue heart-shaped one reminds me of my mom. So I have to keep this one. My mom would just love this rock. But I want to share these other two fun, interesting rock necklaces that Caden made for me with the people that I know that will love them just as much as I do. And that's you, my YouTube community. So I'm doing a giveaway for these other two rock necklaces. And let me just say, I think that they would look great on both a guy or a gal. The first rock necklace that I'm giving away is this black one. 
that turns green when you hold it up to the sun. I really like how this looks, but when you hold it up to the sun, it's pretty amazing. You'll probably have a wow moment like I did. And the second necklace I'm giving away is this Uper Light necklace. This is the one that Caden's dad called explosive. And it's crazy how it lights up when you hold a UV or black light to it. Uper lights are kind of magical. So there'll be two winners, one for this black necklace that turns green when you hold it up to the sun, and this Uper light that explodes with bright orange colors when you have a UV or black light lit on it. To make it easy to win one of these two necklace giveaways, I've set up a giveaway page on my website. To enter, go to randysadventures.com forward slash necklace. I just need your email address so that I can contact you if you're the winner. And you can get all the details there. I only wish I had one for everyone. So go to randysadventures.com forward slash necklace right now because I want you to win one of these necklaces that I'm calling Fun Rock Pieces of Art. I learned so much about sea glass and uperlates from Caden. I'm probably late to the game, but that's okay because I love learning and discovering new things while I'm camping. I love saying because weekends are just too short because us that are close to retirement, but not there yet, we just have weekends to make every moment count. But our weekends fly by so fast, we only have limited time to do the things that we really enjoy. So I encourage you to make the absolute most out of every weekend that you get to go RV camping. And I'm thrilled to have met Caden who showed me another fascinating way to do just that. Thank you, Caden. I'm wondering, have you ever looked for sea glass or euperlites? Sea glass can be found probably on most shorelines, but euperlites are prominently found in the upper peninsula of Michigan on Lake Superior. Next time I'm looking for rocks along the shoreline, of course, I'm gonna continue to look for heart-shaped rocks, but now I'm also gonna be looking for sea glass and euperlites. I think I found a new hobby. 